What's going on everybody? This is Kill Nasty, and today we have a little bit of a different kind of video for my channel and that is because uh, recently I did an unboxing video of a new microphone that I got which I'm using now so tell me how the sound quality is and all that but um, in that video I used a JVC Everio camcorder to record that and I found it to be a complete pain in the ass to uh, import clips to iMovie because for some reason my iMovie was not detecting it as just a regular camera like it's supposed to so I had to find an alternate an alternative, excuse me, route um, on how to import those clips. So I figured that um, I'd do this video just in case there were some of you out there that were also experiencing this problem because uh, I know there's a couple videos out there on how to import it, but um, quite honestly, they're all shit and this is a very easy technique on how to do that. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously start up your camera and I am now plugging in the USB to my camera. Um, and once you plug in the USB uh, on the JVC Everio, this menu comes up on your camera and you're gonna to wanna to select playback on PC. Uh, even though this is a Mac, that's just the only option they have for some reason for it. And uh, after you give it a minute, here you go. It'll start up like this. This is how it's supposed to look. But um, for those of you that it doesn't look like this, um, like mine last time, it didn't do this. So we're just gonna ignore that for a minute. That's just for um, regular users. If it works right, that's how it comes up and you can import them like that. But um, for me, this is all I had right here, is that you have the hard drive on your computer. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to SD video, then PGR001, and um, most likely scroll down to the bottom. This is the recent video that I wanted. Um, wherever that video is, I don't know how many you're going to have on your hard drive of the camera, but um, the latest one is at the bottom, so most likely that's what you're going to want. Now, the problem is that this is the file type that it saves it as on the camera, and iMovie does not recognize that format. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to import a copy of this to our desktop here. And uh, once that goes through, I will show you guys what next to do. But um, for some reason, I don't know why, but that's the format that it saves it as on the camera. And iMovie does not recognize that. So um, if your thing's working right, then you won't have to worry about this. But for those of you that sometimes are experiencing problems, then this is an alternative to that. So then the next step is um, getting a program called Handbrake. This is free. Um, this is actually a very, very useful program for um, commentators or video makers on Macs because not only does it allow you to convert files, it also compresses big files. Um, I've had multiple times where I've wanted to upload a video, but it's just been a huge file size and I haven't wanted to wait as long. So I'll import that video into this program and when it exports, it's still same quality and everything, but it's almost half the size. So um, this is very, very useful if you're wanting to do commentaries or videos in general on a Mac and upload them. So um, it's free, which is nice. So you'll download that. And um, then what you're gonna do next is open it up um, right here, Handbrake. Um, and when you open it up, you'll go to your file type that you pulled off the camera right here, open it, um, and then give it a few minutes or a couple seconds. I don't know, it just depends on how big the file is as to how long this takes. But um, there you go, you see right here, didn't take long. Um, and that is my file type. So now all I have to do uh, in order to get this started is just hit start. Um, it already kind of presets it to be an MP4 file uh, when it's exported. It keeps the same frame rate, um, switches it to an H- or H.264, which is uh, what YouTube uses for uploading anyway, so that's good. Um, so all that is good. We'll do start. Um, depending on how big your file size is, like I said, it'll either take a really long time or it'll take a short time. Um, the video that I had was about four minutes or so so uh, you figure two minutes for converting it isn't very long um, but once this is finished we'll come back and I'll show you guys uh, what exactly to do but yeah this is a this is a really basic way of doing this I don't know why but um, the first time that I tried importing those clips it just wouldn't show up my camera on iMovie for some reason so um, I don't know why but it does it now it shows up and uh, it was kind of aggravating because I tried this tutorial and when I first tried it in the middle of me talking, it worked like it normally should, and iMovie pulled up my camera, so <laughs> I was proven wrong by my own computer. But um, yeah, anyways, we'll come back in just a bit here once this is done, and then I will show you guys what to do after this, and we will be on our way with uh, this tutorial. All right, so we're back, and as you can see here, it's finishing up last bit. Um, didn't take too long, thankfully, like I said, it just depends on the file size that you're using and how big that video is that you originally trying to convert 
So uh, there you go, handbrake is done. Uh, we can close out of this and um, we'll go over to Finder. And in our movies folder now, there is the uh, same file, everything. And now it's just an MP4 format. So kept the audio, everything like that. And now it is um, able to be imported into iMovie. So I'll show you here, you can come over to iMovie, import movies and uh, where's it at? Here we go, right here. So. There we go. You notice now it'll work. Um, sometimes it doesn't work like that for some reason. Um, usually it's easy enough where you can just plug in a camera and it'll detect it. But like I said, sometimes iMovie or your camera kind of goofs out on you and you have to find an alternative route. So uh, hopefully this video helped you guys. I know that um, I was looking for one for a while and I was getting really frustrated. So hopefully this helps uh, those of you that sometimes your camera doesn't work right and now you know a very easy and free way of converting that file and then being able to import it. So uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please show me by leaving a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that because it, uh, it helps my channel grow and it also lets me know what kind of videos you guys like. Um, if there's any other tutorials or anything that you guys want to see involving Max and importing footage or editing stuff, anything like that, then please tell me in the comments and I'd be more than happy to help you all out. But um, yeah, like I said, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys later. Peace!